Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name's Liz and this is Let's Get Listical where we do everything card making. And today I am doing a challenge from Kate over at Kate Crafts. I'll link her channel down in the description below. But a few months ago she challenged me to recreate a card that she did for the Build Your Stash prop. Um, so I'm finally getting around to that. and. I will link to her video as well down below so that you can see what she did. But basically we're gonna be making like a gatefold card and we're gonna be using some doodlebug paper. I think this paper pack is a few years old now so they probably don't have it but they'll have something similar and they come out with a new set every year. If they do still have it, I'll link it below. If not, I'll link the newest version. But you're gonna need four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. And I just cut out a section here. You can kind of like gauge how big you want to do it, but Kate did it two and three quarter inches wide at the bottom and then just cut the top off. Um, and then for the inside, you're going to need a four by five and a quarter piece, which we're just going to fully mat there. And then you'll need a four by two and a half inch piece for this bottom part. If you wanted to not have the border up at the top, you could add that eighth of an inch to it just so it's a continuous pattern. This did take me two sheets of the same paper to do because I needed to cover both the inside and the outside and once you cut this off it doesn't leave enough so you definitely need two sheets of the same paper if you're going to be doing this card. And then you're going to make a mini card that is seven by two and a quarter folded at three and a half and then another mat at two by three and a quarter and then this is just the opposite side of the same paper and then this will get glued on the inside here and then I cut another strip just to glue to the top of this edge here so this is going to be our card and then I'm going to be using this was part of the challenge to use my Beast Friends stamp set. This is the MFT Yeti set that was designed by Bernie Brown. And this is one of my like most used sets at Christmas time, especially this Yeti with the Christmas lights around him. So he'll just go on the card here. And maybe we'll pop a sentiment on it, maybe we won't. We'll see. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Let's start off just by gluing all these together. I think that'll be simple. So I'll just speed through this process. Okay, so that's our card base. And then we can get stamping and coloring with our Yeti. And again, I think I'll just probably speed through this process. And then this will be like a super quick video for today. But I also want to show you guys a bit of a trick when it comes to coloring the lights. So once I get to that portion, I will come back on and explain. Okay, so when I color the lights, I color usually five colors. I'll do red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Um, so I'll just go red, orange, yellow, green, and then I start on the next strand coming down blue, and then red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then kind of like go around. Um, then I like to take pencil crayons actually and like color a circle around them just to make them look like they're lit up. Um, so I have a mixture of like Crayolas and old Laurentians. I don't even make these anymore. These were great pencil crayons back in the day. Um, we'll just like lightly go over it and just color a circle around it. And then that's the great part about using Crayolas because they don't, they're not like super saturated. They don't lay down like a ton of color. They're a very cheap price point. Like you can just get a set of these and make lights all day long. And then you just quickly color a circle around the lights. Some of it might get cut off when I do the um, die cutting because I do have the dies for this set. 
um, but that's okay. 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 And then you look like you have like little glowing lights all around, which is kind of fun. Um, and then I like to take a white gel pen and just put a little dot where the bulb would be, like inside the casing. And it just kind of makes it look like it's all lit up as well. And then, of course, we're going to restamp it. Help bring back those lines. So, if you look at it before, it looks fine. There's nothing wrong with leaving this the way it is. But I like to double stamp my images, just help bring back those black lines because the alcohol markers do tend to bleed them out a little bit. And this way you get a nice crisp image. And then, as I mentioned before, I do have the coordinating dies for this one, so I'll go cut this out with my manual machine. Um, this was one of the very first sets that I bought. So that was back when I was buying coordinating dies for everything. So I'm just gonna line it up, tape it down. This is just easy to tape in orange color. It's kind of like highlighter tape. I think that's what it's actually meant for, but it's actually great for die cutting because it does not rip your paper because it's meant to be taken off. So I'll go die cut that out and be right back. Okay, and so you can see like a little bit of the color probably got cut off, but only like a tiny bit. But it still looks good. So I think we'll just put him in the middle here. And maybe for a bit of dimension, we'll pop him up on some more cardstock. This is just two layers of some scrap cardstock I had left over. And I'm using Jess Crafts uh, trick for this for instead of using foam tape. I don't have my Big Mama foam tape anymore, which would be maybe slightly thicker than this, but it's still thinner than the new foam tape that I bought from Michaels. And I prefer something a little bit on the thinner side. The one from Michaels works great. It does give nice dimension, but I just like to sometimes just have a little tiny bit of dimension. And I could die cut a few more layers of this and do it that way, but I'll just do this because this is what I would do if I was using my Big Mama foam tape. So there we go. We have like a double open card. You can write a message either in here. You can have like another one in here. You could even write one down here. Maybe a thick black marker would work better down here, but you have a few spaces that you can write in this card. And he has a cute little MFT Yeti on it. So challenge accepted, Kate. Here's my version of your card and I hope you like it. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please also go and check Kate's video. Link will be in the description down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I have a bunch of videos coming out soon for Christmas and you won't want to miss those. So subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks, bye.